Welcome to Rasmussen Wausau. The Learning Center tutors are here to help. Make an appointment or call with any questions. You can walk in, but call to see if someone is there that can help you with your specific topic or question. Hi, I'm Amy. I'm one of the tutors here in the Learning Center. The campus does offer BrainFuse, which is a 24-hour, 7 days a week online tutoring. Um, with them, you submit paper, um, somebody on the other end will critique it and send it back, which is great because then you can save time in submitting your papers, make sure it's right the first time. We do encourage every new student at Rasmussen College to sign up for a Start Strong appointment. What the Start Strong appointment is, is one of us tutors will take you and we will go on the computer and we will walk you through the steps that it takes to be an online student. Very, very encouraged. Feel free to use our library resources. We have everything you need for your assignments, and if we don't, we'll get it. Hi, I'm Janine Lassie Willemson. I'm the librarian at the Wasa campus of Rasmussen College. Welcome. So we have a variety of books on the shelves. All of the books have been purchased to help support you in your assignments, no matter which program that you have. Plus, everything that we have in WASA is supplemented by the materials with the other Rasmussen colleges. So we have many different campuses, each with their own library. Um, and at those different libraries, you can access those books. So if we don't have something here in WASA, we can get it for you. Actually, you can get it for yourself just for a click of a button. Plus, we can get things from any other library in the country. It's just easy. You have to ask me. But the books and the physical things are just the tip of the iceberg. Most of our resources are electronic and you can get them on the computer 24 hours a day, seven days a week from home. So we have databases for you that will give you articles from journals and magazines and newspapers and even images from all kinds of different places, great collections all over the world, maps, language learning software. So all of that is available to you and I'm here to help you. So you can be sitting here and we can work together one-on-one. -on -one. You can work at one of our computers and just turn around and ask questions. You can attend one of my workshops that I hold here on campus. I do an APA workshop, a topic to thesis workshop if you're having trouble picking a topic, all kinds of different things. So for example, tonight I'm giving a Got Gap workshop, which is on the Graduate Achievement Portfolio. I'm delivering it here in the library live so you could stay here, for example, and, and listen. Um, but you could also be at home and you could log in. I send out a web address students can home, get from home can log into my web page and they'll see this screen. I'll go through, it's a PowerPoint. They'll hear my voice, they'll see the PowerPoints, and they can participate in that webinar, we call them, um, from home. So we do those frequently. We also record them, so if you miss it, you can come back. The other thing I do is I use my camera and I create little videos all the time. So as people come in or they email me or they pop up in chat, maybe they're having trouble with something on the computer, they don't know how to use a particular database, find a book in the catalog or they want their paper checked for APA, I can create an individualized video for them so they can see exactly how to do it. So we do a lot of different things um, virtually for you, so you don't actually have to come to the library to get help. These are some of the faces you will see at the front desk. My name is Amy Gato. I'm a student finance advisor here at Rasmussen. Um, I'll be here to walk you through your first three quarters and kind of explain anything, answer any questions you have, and kind of be your go-to person for anything that you need. Um, there's a few other people in financial aid that can be of help to you. Susie Vahoviak, the student accounts manager, she'll be dealing with any kind of payments or any issues with your books. And then also uh, the other advisor is Vu Her. He can always answer questions for you as well and Xiao Li is the financial aid officer and she'll kind of take over once I'm done uh, with your first three quarters. She'll be making sure you'll get set for the rest of your program. Um, just make sure if you add or drop any classes you touch base with somebody in financial aid that way we can double check that you won't have any balances or anything like that coming up. You'll want to make sure that your FAFSA is completed each year. You'll need your federal taxes too so once you get your taxes done Jump on the FAFSA website and you'll be able to renew that. You'll have to make sure you keep having a current one valid. Uh, if any questions, you can always ask us. Otherwise, we send out plenty of material kind of giving you instructions and all the tools that you need. Have good attendance. Be prepared. 
Be engaged. Communicate with your instructors. Your grade point average, or GPA, is very important. A 4.0, 3.0, and 2.0 means you are in good standing as a student. If you start getting below a 2.0 GPA, there's help. Ask Gene Miller or Ben Krieger. If you are starting to fall behind and don't get help, there are consequences that you could face. The first quarter that you fail to achieve a 2.0 GPA, you are on financial aid warning. The second quarter is financial aid probation, and you are no longer eligible for financial aid. The third quarter may result in termination from the college. We have no doubt that you can take the steps needed to overcome hard times and get help if you need it. There are many people and resources available here at Rasmussen and online that will help you be the best student you can be. Achieving a 4.0 GPA will put you on the honors list. Achieving a 3.5 to 3.99 will put you on the dean's list. Both will look great on your resume once you graduate, so please work hard. Another thing that will look great on your resume is to be a student ambassador. To become a student ambassador, you need a GPA of 3.0 or higher. You can apply after your first quarter. Student ambassadors represent Rasmussen at school and community events. These are some of the things you will need to know and do to be a successful online student. Confirm your schedule. Make sure you attend your online class a minimum of five days a week. Make sure to test your internet connection at home. After confirming your schedule, it will let you know what dates your classes are on. For residential classes, M equals Monday, T equals Tuesday, W equals Wednesday, and H equals Thursday. If you have no room number next to H, it means that it is an online course and may be started at the beginning of the quarter. Plan your week before it begins. Check your schedule and make a note of due dates. Your first discussion post is due Wednesday at midnight. Your reply post is due Saturday at midnight, and your weekly assignments are due Sunday at midnight. If you do not submit any work or attend an on-campus class for 14 days straight, you are in jeopardy of being dropped from that class and possibly all classes. Make sure to log important contact information or dates on your calendar, phone, or planner. GAP, the Graduation Achievement Portfolio, is needed for graduation here at Rasmussen College. It is not due until your last quarter. It includes work throughout your college career here that shows competency of the four following traits. Communication, critical thinking, information literacy, diversity. Hi, I'm Carrie Cuso, Director of Student Affairs. Welcome to Rasmussen College. Not only do we support you every step of the way through your college career, but towards the end of the career, we also provide you with a career services advisor. The goal of the career services advisor is to lead you towards that dream job. They're gonna help you with interviewing skills, help you develop a cover letter and a resume. So welcome to Rasmussen College. We can't wait to see you on graduation day.